on, we gotta get the cameras ready. Gotta put the ball cap on, what am I thinking? Oh, -ho. Well, I'm dropping the Insta 360. And I just can't keep my, can't keep y'all together. Can't keep anybody on the same page. Welcome, welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time as you saw up there. I have made it as far west as you can go and find a Texas State Park in Texas. We're at Franklin Mountains. Franklin Mountain State Park, Tom Mays Unit. You really need to be aware. They close the office at four o'clock here. Big truck using his Jake brake. So if you come out here and you're, you're camping, you want to get here before four o'clock. They actually close all the gates at five. So if you have reservations, you'll probably be all right getting here uh, between four and five. But after five o'clock, you're camping right there. <laughs> We gotta climb some serious hill on this ride. I might actually have to pedal, heaven forbid. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Now, as I mentioned, Franklin Mountains is the most western of our Texas state parks and these beautiful mountains are the Franklin Mountains. Now this state park is all about the hiking trails. There's lots of hiking trails. Not much of anything else, but there's lots of hiking trails. We're gonna go downhill and then we're gonna climb and you're not gonna really appreciate how far we climb until I get that end loop and turn around. Cause I sure didn't appreciate. Had a nice conversation with that fella at the, at the gate. Gift shop, permits, we don't need to go in there. We are already registered, and besides, it's closed, it's locked up. I don't think I've ever been to a Texas State Park where they actually start locking it up at four o'clock in the afternoon. like the rangers going around telling everybody it's time to leave. So we've got day use area up here on the hill. For the sake of my battery, we're not going up there because we got a lot of hill to climb. The next road to the right is a, goes to a trailhead. Get up the hill. So Sneed's Corey and Mindy's Mundy's Gap are up there. Then we have another little day use area here. We can little zip through here real quick. The other day use area looked like this. It just had better views. If you want to see that day use area and what's at the end of that other road, you got to go to uh, this past Sunday's video. Sunday, Sunday morning. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I really dig the way the 
ridges are on the pumps. Another trailhead right there where that car pulled out. So the trailhead is actually right there. It's a nature walk. They've got a really cool bird 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 blind there. Speed bump. I hate those speed bumps. Especially when you hit them at speed. There's not a whole lot of RV camping here. There's actually only five designated RV sites. So going through that loop will only take a minute as we climb up this really long hill. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five. That guy doesn't run his little construction generator all night. All right. That was the whole. Now, if you go back to last Sunday's video, you can get a better look at all five of those RV sites. Now, if you don't have a big RV, there are some really neat primitive sites. If you look back up here, you can see all the way up on the hill there. And then there's one over there. And they, they want you to be well aware that 8 o'clock, oh, excuse me, 5 o'clock, they lock those gates. Now there's a cave up there where the early El Pasoans, the people that lived in El Paso, they found artifacts and remains and they, they mistakenly identified them as Aztec remains and so this is not a trail, this is campsite. A uh, really nice campsite if you, if you need a tent site. Because anyway, they, they misidentified the remains as Aztecs so the caves are called Aztec Caves. I, I'm not able to get up to those caves because they don't have a, a road or path suitable to my wheel transport.
There are no showers. There's no flushing toilets. Unless you bring one with you. It's all vault toilets. to go to last Sunday's video because um, I've done a I'm gonna do a time lapse I've already been up there and took shot some video but I'm gonna come back and do a sunset time lapse I'm pretty sure we have campsites over here another unit for Franklin Mountain State Park. It's on the other side of the mountain. Uh, and it's all hiking action. There's no put on my cap. All right, we have we have reached the end. We have reached whoop, we have reached the end of the virtual tour of Franklin Mountains State Park Tom Davis unit. Ha! Man, what a beautiful place to camp. Y'all sit right there. Y'all stay. Stay right there. What a beautiful place to camp. That's my patio view this evening. Thank you. Hey, if you found some value out of this video, please click on that thumbs up. 
blast me out across your social media if you've not already i would be most honored if you'd consider clicking the subscribe button and for those of you who have already been following along i cannot say it enough thank you thank you thank you i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you thank you for that opportunity and for my patrons i am most grateful you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear